Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloveds. I will. Everyone is blessed. Everyone is well. Everyone is feeling good. This is going to be um, a little peaky peek. See what's coming and going out, going on. Take a little snapshot of the temperature as we approach. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you know, as we approach, uh, you know, the latter part of the week. So yesterday was the 22222 portal, which a beautiful, beautiful energy. I had a couple of amazing um, events take place. Um, actually, yesterday I had went and picked up my daughter um, from work. And as I was about to turn into my complex, I saw this man um, standing, you know, like on the side of the road uh, and the way the streets are down here in North Carolina, there's no sidewalks. Um, most of the streets are, you know, it's just straight up road, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then there's like a ditch, you know, so he was standing like in the road. There was no ditch. It's like a two way street. So there's only two lanes on this particular street um, entering into my complex. And he was just standing looking up in the trees. And so I was like, oh, what he look what is he looking at? You know, so when I looked, there were three hawks. Um, and they were all sitting in the branches. And I know from when I was a child, you know, I used to hear stories how, you know, hawks only land when they, you know, when they spot their prey, you know, they'll they'll, you know, come down because they spend a lot of time, you know, in the sky looking um for food you know, for prey. And then these three, I guess they were taking a break. They was just kind of chilling in the branches, uh, chilling in the trees. And then one of them took flight. Um, and it was just so magical. It was just beautiful. I tried to take uh, a picture of it, but sometimes you, you miss, you know, you'll miss it. So I was just like, nah, I got to just enjoy this moment. But it was just very beautiful to see such a large bird um, so close. They're so majestic. I love hawks. So um, that was one miraculous event. Um, another one was today. I was dropping my daughter off. And I just get this feel. You know, I always have these little gumptions, these little feelings, these little sensations like something is, a, is going to happen or something's about to happen. And sure enough, I was like, you know, I wonder if my little rabbits are outside because I love rabbits. Because when I see them, I always feel like, you know, uh, anytime I have seen them, they've always um, come at a time when either money was coming in, <laughs> you know, large sums of it. And um, so it's always a blessing to, you know, to see um, a rabbit. So today, you know, I was hoping to see it with my daughter in the car. But as soon as I dropped her off and I was driving back home, guess what runs right in front of my my car as I'm driving and I'm always very mindful to you know to not uh run over these beautiful animal totems I know a lot of people say oh you're supposed to just keep on going you ain't supposed to stop I always stop I'm not trying to hit no squirrels no rabbits no nothing so I stopped it ran right in front of me this big beautiful rabbit fluffy tail and I was like uh-oh there goes some money there goes money because, um, you know, rabbits denote fertility, abundance, prosperity, success. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's just, I wanted to share those stories because I do feel like when I see these things, um, I almost feel like it's for the collective. You know, I feel like that's, those are signs and synchronicities that are not just for myself. But I feel like they're also, you know, messages that you all um, need to hear. And also just encouraging you all to to take note of those beautiful um, moments when you may run across a, a special animal totem, you know, because the divine is trying to tell you something. God's trying to tell you something. So now that we got that out of the way, I just wanted to share. You know me. I like to share uh, because most of the time you all have had, you know, similar accounts and events take place. So it's just like it's letting you know, like you know, message, <laughs> you know, but, um, welcome to everyone that may be new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I am intuitive. I am 
an empath, a channeler, and I am clairaudient. So you will hear music in the background. Uh, and I tend to um, incorporate those messages into the reading. And they tend to blend very beautifully with the cards, uh, the messages that come through in the um, tarot cards. Uh, so right now we have Khalees, um And this is called Get Along With You. Um, so Scorpios, I feel like somebody is just really trying to um, get in your good graces. It's like somebody wants to get along with you. They don't want to be in opposition. They don't want to fight. They don't want to um, have this air of of combativeness, you know. Um, so I do feel like there is somebody who's really going to come in and maybe there's an apology that they will extend to you because they know that you're not going to deal with them any other way. Um, maybe this is somebody who's had some sort of epiphany. Uh, maybe they was trying to be stubborn. Maybe they was trying to fight it. Maybe they was trying to fight the feelings and they can't any longer because they see that you're not budging. It's like, you know, that you have to stand perpendicular in your square, especially if you know you was in the right and that you didn't do any wrong, you know? Um, so you're not going to bend over backwards and try to overcompensate and extend, you know, some sort of olive branch that you feel like you are not in the position to extend. Like if somebody did you dirty, you, you, you're going to let them do their due diligence to come in and, you know, make amends and to repair the connection. You're no longer feeling the need to appease and please. You're no longer feeling the need to just, you know, go along to get along. You can't, you're not built that way no more. It's like that old version of you has died and you have been reborn. You've been regenerated um, as someone who is self-loving, who is self-disciplined. So you practice in healthy self-care. So you loving you first. Um, so you're not bending over backwards for people. If you, if that leaves you with nobody, so be it, but you're not thirsty to have people around you. You're not thirsty to just have any person around you. More importantly, um, you're looking for authenticity. You're looking for genuine connections. You're looking for real connections, like, because you're real and you are now a realist. And you know that just because people smile in your face or just because people occupy your time doesn't mean that those are relationships that are, um, you know, solid, you know, those are people who could just be in a, uh, in a need, you know, in a position of needing you. So we're going to take a deep dive, take a little looky look, peeky peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on. But before we do, let's go ahead, call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I call upon our beautiful angels, ancestors, our beautiful ascended masters, archangels, Spirit guides, animal totems, deities, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine. Most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have Janet Jackson featuring Q-Tip and this is called Got Till It's Gone. So yeah, somebody didn't know what they had until it was gone. Classic tale of somebody who ran your ass off. It was like you was running and chasing after them and they were so used to being chased. Maybe this is somebody who's very like arrogant, somebody who's a, you know, an um, attention whore, uh, somebody who really thrives and craves, you know, uh, the attention of people, maybe they feel validated or they feel, you know, you know, like, um, you know, like they're supposed to be the one that's chased. And I feel like you just stopped chasing, you know, so now somebody realizes, you know, what they had because now you're going. Now you're no longer like chasing after anyone because, you know, you are, you know, you are the prize, you know, you're actually the one. Um, that should be courted, you know, because you're the divine feminine, you're the divine masculine and the divine feminine and masculine don't chase shit. They attract. So this person is being drawn to you now. They're being, um, it's almost like this, 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 uh, this pull, you know, this magnet, this magnetism, um, is kind of like drawing them back to you because you've kind of like chucked up them deuces. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to pull some messages from the um, numerology deck. So we have abundance on the bottom of the deck. 
So just as I said, I feel like you all, you know, this is what you're attracting to you. When you change your energy and your vibration and you, you tend to teach people how to treat you, you know, 10, 10 on the clock. So somebody who you obviously said, I'm done, you know, I'm no longer going to uh, put up with the bare minimums. I'm no longer going to overcompensate. I feel like by you walking away, it's like you have changed your whole frequency and vibration. And not only have you changed your frequency and vibration, but you've also, um, you're drawing things to you. You're attracting more. 11, 11 on the clock. You're even attracting love. Uh, financial uh, uh, fulfillment is coming in. Abundance of love, abundance of happiness. This is a pink card. So I do feel like you are emotionally fulfilled all on your own, which is why you don't feel um, the necessity to just have anybody around you or just be in the company of any person or any type of people. It's like you're very particular about who you rubbing shoulders with, who you're allowing in your inner circle or in your cipher uh, because you've worked so hard to um, improve yourself, to repair, to heal, you know, to recover from, you know, those tower moments, you know, those disappointing moments when you discovered, you know, the people that you were trusting also trusting of were your main enemies, were the main ones, you know, bringing chaos and turmoil in your lives. So with this uh, 88, that's 16, um, that reduces to seven. I feel like somebody absolutely sees you as wish fulfillment, but I feel like all those prayers, petitions that you were sending up during those moments of healing, grounding, centering yourself, finding balance, they're now coming into fruition. Like there's abundance coming in. Um, so right now we have ultra magnetic MCs. This is called bail, uh, bait. And so what did I say? Now you're the bait, you know what I'm saying? And you're, when you're a bait, you're attracting, you know what I'm saying? That's what people use when they're fishermen. They'll put bait on, you know, the, the end of the fishing rod so that they can bait the fish to, you know, get hooked, you know, so that they could catch the fish. So I feel like you're now bait and you're baiting, you know, not only financial abundance, like I said, but also emotional. Look at this. This is a spiritual connection. This 88 reduces the 16. That's seven. Your crown shock was is wide open. So you already know this. You're picking up sensations. You're seeing certain synchronicities. There's certain animal totems. There's just symbolisms all around you, whether it's numbers, times, whether it's animal totems, sensations. It's like dreams, whatever it is. You're very sensitive to it. This pink card speaks to you being like very, very uh, emotionally um, intelligent. Like you are picking up on energy. You know, you're speaking energy, feeling energy. It's a very beautiful connection here that you're drawing in an attraction. You're going to have a spiritual partnership with someone. And this is someone that's absolutely also in the practice, someone that's also, you know, a spiritual practitioner. So they could also be into like tarot cards. Maybe they're channelers, psychics, maybe they're clairvoyants. Maybe they're also clairaudience like you. You know, maybe this is someone that you're going to meet while in the practice. Maybe this is someone that will um, cross your path as you are, um, you know, working on your business, your spiritual business or doing something related to spirituality. But this is going to uh, develop into something very beautiful, you know, um, and we see here this is purple. So this person communicates with you. I feel like there, you know, is uh, the sense that you've met someone. This is like past life connection, twin flame connection. You know, this is like not a false flame. I feel like whoever you dealt with in the past was just that karmic that was meant to teach you the lessons that you are now um, understanding why you went through it. I had someone um, leave a message in one of the uh, one of the um, readings that I did. And she was she was just like, you know, astounded by how she's now understanding why she went through everything she went through, because it literally was preparing her for her spiritual career, for what she feels passionate about now, what she's doing now, which was, I believe, massage therapy. And so with massage therapy, you could incorporate like Reiki and crystal healing with that and learning about certain oils and anointing oils, creating certain oils that could help heal certain ailments and certain dis-ease in the body. So it's, it's all happening for a reason. That's why I say, you know, your testimony is, is you know, you wouldn't have one if it wasn't for the tests that you all have had to endure. See that? Look at the synchronicity on the bottom of the deck. 
pay attention to the sign synchronicity because as I said in the beginning, God's trying to tell you something. And I feel like somebody knows that they, they rather join you because they're not going to be able to beat you because they see how spiritually um, strong you are. They see that you are very divinely connected like you are favored by the divine. It's one thing to be uh, spiritual. It's one thing to be uh, psychic or to have these gifts channelers, but to be favored by the divine, to know that, you know, your ancestors and your angels are working with you and protecting you from harm and from, you know, other people's malicious intention or attacks for you. That that's, that's huge. So tap into your creativity because I do feel like right now is a very, um, it's an opportune time to really hone and master your skills. A lot of you have just discovered that you're talented. A lot of you discovered your painters, that you enjoy painting. Maybe that's something you picked up when you was in the process of healing. And you thought that it was just something to do to pass the time. But now you have this passion. Now you feel called to do it. Now you're like mastering this skill, this talent, this gift. And it's freeing you from certain you know, from certain blockages, maybe you are um, unlocking certain certain childhood traumas or certain traumas that you didn't realize. And it's like it's allowing you to heal that. And so tap into your creativity. This is also, um, you know, the number of the divine feminine. And so I feel like for my divine feminines out there, you beautiful energy. This is like that empress energy. It's like, you know, be creative, you know, be um be more uh, focused on doing things that are going to um, to improve, you know, the experience. You know what I'm saying? Be more nurturing, loving, and caring to yourself first and foremost. You know, create new ideas, create new ways of thinking, create new projects. Just be creative. Tap into your creativity, even if you're masculine. You know, this is t encouraging you to tap into that creativity because I do, I do feel it leads to the abundance that we saw opening up the reading. Um, I feel like a lot of you all are having some sort of epiphanies. You know, we got Kate uh, Bush and this is called Running Up That Hill. So when you're running up the hill, that means like you are reaching, you know, the peak. I feel like something is really going to blossom. Something's going to um Something really beautiful can can come out of something you're creating. This also is speaking to, um, you know, birthing new ideas, birthing some new perspective even, you know. So, so really tap into your creativity at this time. Maybe that's what you all are doing. See that rebirth. You've gone through major change, transformations. You've definitely um, went through that startling metamorphosis. You know, this is like that phoenix rising from the ashes. And as I said, that old version of you has died. And now you have been, you know, reborn as someone that is very in tune, psychic, clairvoyant, somebody who's very discerning. Like I said, you speak energy, you feel energy, you go by what you feel intuitively, instinctively. This is very powerful. And this is a rebirth. So there's been many changes. You know, this is who you've transformed into. And I feel like a lot of y'all don't do anything unless things sit right in your spirit. And I feel like you're not allowing people to, you know, disrupt you or interfere with your energy right now because you're so creative. A lot of you all are musicians. And this is also telling me to pay attention to this song with running up that hill. I definitely am sensing you all have really been, you know, um, you went through those peaks and those valleys. And it wasn't an easy uh, process. You've persevered through a lot. And I feel like you're now at the peak. You're now at your peak where you're able to, you know, get a, a, a you have a broader understanding, a more deeper, more profound understanding of why you went through what you went through. A lot of you all need to tap into your creativity with music. You know, a lot of you have put that off because you were, you know, focusing on something else. And maybe this is the creative project you all need to start again. You all may need to be more creative in terms of music, start writing more, maybe go out and get inspiration, you know, while being out in nature, you know, maybe go out and take a walk and just jot down some ideas and then go home and, and create based off of the, you know, the downloads you received out of nature. Right now we have David Ruffin, my whole world ended. 
So, yeah, this song is definitely um, just letting you know how those per those people or that person in particular feels like their world ended since you have departed their world. So let's go ahead, cut the deck, see what's coming and going out, going on, beloved Scorpios. So we have self-love. What did I say? Somebody that you walked away from because you was exhibiting self-love, self-care, self-discipline, knowing your self-worth, like loving you, yourself, and you. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm hearing that um, Beyonce song. Me, myself, and I, that's all I got in the end. That's what I found out. And it ain't no need to cry. I took a vow that from now on, I'm going to be my own best friend. And that's what you all did. You was like, I'm going to move away from a connection if I'm not getting what I need, if I'm not getting what I want. You know what I'm saying? This 61 is that epiphany, that download that you all received. And you decided to go follow your dreams, you know? Like I said, you realize, like, you got to put more time and energy into the things you wish to do and not into some attention whore that doesn't appreciate the time and energy you've given them in the first place. As I said in a former reading, you realize that your energy, your time, your love, that, that's like currency to you right now. So you're not just divvying that shit out to anybody. You said I'm self-love is the best love, self-love is what makes you more attractive. Now somebody's having their epiphany when it's too late because what? Their whole world ended the moment you left them. Their whole world ended the moment you started to focus on you because remember they were an attention whore. I won't be surprised if that comes out in the reading, but they was an attention whore who felt validated. They needed validation from other people, whereas you, you did your internal work and you loved yourself, you know? You walked away from that connection because it left you feeling emotionally bankrupt. And I feel like with this orange, this is about you doing things that are, you know, more rooted and grounded in, you know, self-care, you know, taking better care of yourself, you know, prioritizing your needs, your wants, you know, focusing on your dreams, mastering your crafts. You know what I'm saying? Like learning new skills, sets and, you know, building your wealth of knowledge and gaining, you know, that confidence that you needed. This 61 is seven. So this is like, you know, those were so some of those synchronicities, some of those little, you know, run ins with those animal totems. Those were all signs because when you went and researched the meaning of that, you know, hawk when you saw it or the owl when you saw it or the bird when you saw it or the snake when you saw it, it all was telling you change, rebirth, you know, something. Is, is you're on the precipice of something new and so you followed you followed your gut instinct you followed your intuition you followed that gumption you know and this is what led to you moving forward and more importantly um led to you you know learning how to love you better you know because you learned that you know how you teach your treat yourself is how you're teaching other people to treat you and so with this blue you know in the middle in the center that deals with the throat chakra so a lot of you all started to communicate what you needed, communicate what you wanted. You started to speak up about those things that you did not in, you know, that you weren't appreciating. You started to communicate more. You wasn't just being hush, you know. And I'm hearing that song again by Till Tuesday. Hush, hush, keep it down now. Voices carry you know, that's what you all was doing. You was just being very hushed, very quiet. You wasn't communicating or expressing yourselves because you didn't want the argument. Or then when you did, you know, after the tick, tick, boom moment, it was just like now that you were made to look like you was crazy. And it's because you took so much and you took so much on the chin and then you just finally exploded. But I feel like now you're 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 making it more of a priority to let people know up front, out the gate, how far they could take you because you've created these healthy boundaries. But I also feel like this blue is saying that, you know, you started to also learn to express yourself creatively and artistically. And right now we got Jadakiss. This is called Man in the Mirror. So you did do a lot of, you know, internal work. You started to look at yourself because that that's the first step to healing is looking at yourself. It's not about projecting or, you know, playing the victim or faulting other people, you know, you know, really uh, healing. The first step to healing is looking within is going within because you have to heal at a soul level. You got to try to understand like what, why you've, you've um, experienced what you did, why these uh, were, you know, some of the 
dynamics you've had with certain people. And I feel like that's what you ultimately learned. And then it led you to, you know, going and focusing more on, you know, your dreams opposed to, you know, what failed in the relationship. And that's why you're here now, um, you know, loving yourself. And as I said, as you love yourself, you attract, you attract people, you know, self-love makes you more attractive. And that's why I was picking up the fact that, that there's this magnetism, people are drawn to you, you know, and so we have, um, abundance. You saw how abundance flew out. So this is like I said in the beginning, you're now starting to attract what you are. You know, as you change your vibration, because I was picking up divine feminine, divine masculine with that creativity card. It's like you woke up to who you are. And when you wake up to who you are, you will never settle again in life. You will never settle, you know, for somebody giving you the bare minimums or crumbing or bread crumbing, you know, puppeteer, all that bullshit that you was taking in the past. That's done, done, fin. That chapter of your life is over. And that's what somebody realizes because they only want to get along with you now because they realize like there's no beating you. Um, this new version of you is not falling for the shit that that old version of you fell for because you've gone through that death. You've gone through that transformation. You've already been deceived, betrayed, backstabbed. You've already gone through having to learn the unfortunate truths about people you genuinely loved. So you're no longer going to allow those same people to play you again so it's like there's the death of that person and now you've been reborn now you're looking at everything you know you're in that queen of swords energy where you're not going to take too kindly to anybody trying to come back and insult your intelligence or it's off with their head wu-tang style protect your neck like so that's why now you're attracting things and you're also very psychic. There's seven, seven straight out the gate. 61, 88, that's 16, that's seven. So this 61 is um, 16 reverse. So it's like now you're very, very sensitive when it comes to um, the energy, you know, the intention of people. It's almost like you could read people's minds and you can read their minds because you're reading their body language. You know, you're reading between the lines. Your first eye is wide open. See that? We got fabulous and this is called leaving you. So this is what you did. You had to leave those people behind because you started to see that their intentions for you weren't good. You started to feel their energy towards you wasn't pure, that they just wanted to bring chaos. They just wanted to bring despair into your life, that these people were just sucking you dry energetically, using you for money, using you for your time. And now you've changed your whole perspective. And now your time is currency. Now your energy is currency. Now it's like you're not willing to to bend over backwards. Now you're not willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. Now you're not willing to let somebody, you know, betray you before you learn the lesson. Now you're looking at everybody, you know, with that first style, you know, you're being more discerning with nature. This is where a lot of your epiphanies and downloads took place. But I also feel like the divine is telling you spend some time out of nature. Some of you all will start having those encounters that I'm telling you about. Or that I've shared with you in the beginning. You'll start seeing your own owl totems. You'll start seeing your own miraculous events. This is what the divine is telling you. Get out in nature because there's some downloads waiting for you. There's also an, an opportunity to be more grounded. To feel more balanced. To be more in spiritual alignment out in nature. You know. Because when you sit amongst the, the trees or by that body of water. It's also a way for you to recharge. You know, it's also a way for you to um, center yourselves, to rejuvenate your spirit. So this abundance is coming in and I feel like you're having an abundance of everything, you know, whether it's emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, um, spiritual fulfillment. We already saw that spiritual partnership. So you're already attracting a lot to you and you're attracting because you're now implementing and practicing self-love. And self-love, as I always say, makes you more attractive. So that's beautiful. So you have abundance coming in. So divine spirit, look at that. I just said self-love makes you more attractive. I spoke on self-discipline. See that? This is why you're getting what you desire. Because now you're loving you first. The center of this symbol is green. So this is about self-love. You, you've, you've changed a lot in terms of um, not only the way that you're going to allow people to treat you, but also the way you treat yourself. You know, a lot of you are implementing, um, you know, new regimens because you really want to be healthy, you know, mind, body and soul. 
You're not just exercising just so you can be attractive. You're exercising because you want to be here for another hundred years. So you're making some changes. Maybe a lot of you are changing your eating habits. Maybe that's one of the epiphanies you all had, one of the downloads you had. That 2222 two, two, two yesterday reduced to 10. So that's like you had an, an, an epiphany that you had to end some certain way of doing something that wasn't beneficial to you. You know, this is also about being, you know, more courageous, more, more, um, just more um, cognizant. Thank you, spirit of what you're doing, you know, making sure that you're making the right decisions that are going to be beneficial to you. That's going to be, you know, conducive to your betterment overall, you know, but I also feel like with this 41, um, you know, that reduces to five. That's the throat chakra. So I do feel like, again, you know, maybe there's some communication. You're being more disciplined in terms of, you know, um, not just being passive anymore. You know, self-discipline isn't just about, you know, um, you know, reserve, being reserved or being, like I said before, like hush. I feel like you're practicing self-discipline because part of self-discipline is um, expressing yourself and sharing with other people, your feelings, but knowing um, that you don't have to be nasty and, and, and vile when you do it. You know what I'm saying? Do it with love. It's like it's it's like, you know, because you're still you're teaching, you know, that we, we are all teachers. You could be the student and the teacher at the same time. And I feel like by you healing yourself, a great way to show that you've healed is by, you know, expressing yourself with tact, with respect, you know. You don't need to get out of out of character if somebody does something that you don't like. Even if they come to you trying to bring drama your way, there's a way to shut that shit down and not have to be explosive or disrespectful. Because if whoever angers you controls you, ultimately. So I feel like the divine is saying, like, for some of you all, kame, kame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, kame, kame. And, and, and express yourself. And it was just 32, 32. So maybe this is like because somebody from your past, that 32, 32 is 5, 5. So we got 5, 5, 5. So 5, 5, 5 is 15. And that reduces to 6. So they're telling you remain balanced. Self-discipline is being balanced. You know what I'm saying? It's thinking before you speak. Because that's 41. It's making me think of communication, throat chakra. Right now we have Brandy, best, best friend. So with this, this self-discipline, like I was saying, your best friend is you right now. You know, I was thinking of that Beyonce song, Me, Myself, and I. That's all about you loving you first, you focusing on you. You got self-love, self-discipline. So it's not about anybody external to you, some other outside party. This is about your relationship with yourself, you know. And self-discipline is also, you know, exhibiting integrity and 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 dignity and self-respect honor those things so honor yourself Res carry yourself in a dignified manner is what i'm gathering from that see that another 14 so we got 41 and then we got 14 see how the messages are literally like this is all orange then it's green in the center this is all green and it's orange in the center so this is absolutely the divine it's like veggie backing off the messages it's the same messages back to back you had the 61, the 88 reduces to 16. So that's 16 backwards. And this is so it's all interchangeable. So it's like these moderations, these changes that you have made will ultimately bring, you know, some sort of emotional fulfillment. Somebody that will be, you know, just as emotionally intelligent as you. But first, you got to work on the self. You know, that's why I was saying projecting isn't how you heal. You know, saying, well, you, you did this. It's like first you got to go internal. You know what I'm saying? You got to go internal first. That's the first step to healing. And that's why the divine is reminding you self-love, self-discipline. Work on the self first, you know. And then with best friend singing in the background by Brandy is to me, this is telling me you got to have that relationship with yourself first. You know, those are the moderations, the changes you got to make first and foremost. And as you make those relationships and changes, um, I mean, as you make those moderations and changes in the self, then you're going to, you know, start attracting what you are. And I feel like you got somebody that's going to come in now. You know, somebody is absolutely also making those changes. You got somebody mirroring you. I feel like there's a lot of mirroring. And as I said, you got like twin flame energy here. Very heavy. 
And I don't feel this is a past person. I feel like this is somebody um, maybe like I was picking up earlier, a runner chaser. You was running after somebody until you just got tired and turned your ass back around and said, let me focus on me. And this person was just so busy running. They look back. You wasn't there no more. And now they like, damn, where did my Scorpio go? It is like Scorpio done changed, done evolved, done grew, done healed. Scorpio focused on they, their projects, their business, their creativity, their family, their money. And this person now is like, damn, my whole world done changed because they were so used to having you, you know, to um, almost like stroke their ego in a sense. Now you focusing on your dreams. I feel somebody also is um, being told to follow their dreams, their dreams, their, 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 uh, you know, what they desire is you because they may see you as wish fulfillment. You know, with this 85, I definitely feel like somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. Because this is 13, you know, so that's like four. So, you know, to me, four is the vibration of that 1111. So somebody looks at you as somebody that, you know, is, um, you know, is, is, they can invest in somebody they can really, you know, plant seeds and roots with some someone that could have, you know, stability with you. They see you as very nurturing, very grounding. And so we got Beyonce playing daddy lessons. And so a lot of you all may have had daddy issues in the past. You know, um, maybe you didn't have a father to teach you certain things. Maybe you lost your fathers at an early age, you know, but whatever it was like, there was an absentee father you know, but that father right now in the spirit realm watches over you. I feel like they're the ones encouraging you, you know, to to uh, follow your dreams, you know, to live your dreams. Maybe some of you Scorpios were born on November 16th, November 7th, November 8th, November 40, um, November um, 5th, November 14th, November 13th, maybe November 4th. November 7th, but I feel like, you know, with follow your dreams, your fathers in the spirit realm, they're with you. They're definitely protecting you. I get a sense that that's, you know, a huge part of the protection that I was picking up in the beginning. Like you all are very protected, divinely protected. And so whatever people are doing to, to try to thwart you, slight you, block you, you know, whatever it is they're doing, it's like the divine is, it's like there's this fiery wall of protection, an armor of protection, and it's impenetrable. And even in terms of you following your dreams, I feel like many of you will achieve those, those dreams, those goals. You will have some level of success because you're going to have abundance. Abundance is coming in. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment also, and they see you as somebody, you know, very beautiful. You know, like you're radiating love and light right now. What additional messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? Uh, spirit of love and light. What messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? My uh, spirit. Thank you. Time out. So 37. So you definitely have been taking times out to focus on your creativity. I feel like a lot of y'all have been in that hermit mode. Soul searching. You know, self analyzing, reflecting, introspecting taking those deeper dives internally. And I feel like, you know, this is what's also making you more sensitive in terms of, you know, um, what it is you want, you know, what it is you're feeling like you're, you're, you're able to, to really, um, pick up on the energy around you. And it's because you've had some sort of epiphany, you know, some sort of aha moment, you know, you did that internal work. This is about, you know, taking those internal self audits, um, and knowing when, you know, when you are um, at fault or when there's somebody else, you know, that is, um, you know, kind of like invading on your on your privacy, invading on your, you know, your pa your space, your peace, your your just your 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 peace of mind. So you had to take a time out. You had to take a time out for somebody who was taking advantage, you know, and with daddy. Um, lessons. I feel like maybe some of you all were dealing with, you know, the fathers of your children also, and they taught you valuable lessons. You know, they taught you how to, um, you know, how to communicate what you needed and also, you know, to pay attention to red flags. Maybe there was some really um, unfortunate, you know, circumstance that took place in a relationship and you took a time out. You know, maybe the two of you separated, you live separate, you live apart from one another. 
And I feel like, you know, in living apart, you was able to see everything because you looked from the outside in and you saw all of the things that you uh, weren't able to see when you were in that relationship, you know. But now you have this epiphany. Now you're, as I said, more intuitive and more inclined to, to trust what you're feeling and picking up energetically. And now you have love. So now you can attract love because you've taken time out to, to do your healing, to do your internal work. You know, to even master your crafts, to work on things, you know, that were, um, that were interesting to you, that were going to help you to improve. You took time out and away from the people, you know, just those toxic relationships. And it just, it, it, it just kind of like, it was like a, a, a light was shining, you know. It was just like you had this grand epiphany. It was like this, this aha moment. It was like a moment of clarity. And now, you know, as I said, you're going to start attracting love. The six is really saying that there is a beautiful connection coming in. We got Marsha Ambrosius, um, and this is called Late Nights, Early Mornings. So many of you, you got somebody that thinks of you late nights and early mornings. So that means first thing in the a.m., last thing in the p.m., you're on somebody's mind. And this is somebody you took a break from, somebody that was, you know, trying to get you to chase them. You know, and you stopped. You took a time out. You took a pause. And now this person may be coming into some sort of realization that they love you. I feel love is in the air. You know, I feel love is, is coming in because you all are obviously, you know, loving yourselves more. You're, you're, you're really enforcing self-care at this time. So what are the messages you have for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? So we got pride. Somebody's pride. See that egotistical proud. This is that, you know, that person that feels like they could do no wrong, you know. You know, this is somebody that definitely is is very um, stubborn also, you know. This is someone who has um, also, you know, just had some sort of ego death because, you know, maybe like I said, you took a time out. You walked away from them, stopped chasing you know, and with late nights, early mornings, I, I immediately felt like this is how somebody's thinking. They're thinking of you all the time because the songs that was playing by David Ruffin, my whole world ended, you know, then we had um, Fabulous' song. And that was, um, I damn, I forgot. But it was just pretty much like you left, you know. And so somebody's having, you know, an ego death because this is 19. So that's 10. So you got 1010, and remember we saw 1010 on the clock. So there was absolutely um, somebody who is now changing their whole perspective. I feel like somebody was forced in almost like this hangman state to look at themselves. It's like take a look at yourself. Look at how you have been behaving, how you've been treating people. You know what I'm saying? Somebody also realizes they weren't making the effort, and that's why you walked away, left the situation overall. But I also feel somebody knows they need to make the effort because with this 13, remember that 13 showed up before. Or it might, I think it was, um, it reduced to 13. And it was speaking of, um, dang, I think it was 85 or something like that. It was number 85. But it was like somebody was realizing like, dang, you know, Scorpio is my wish fulfillment. I think it was follow your dreams. And so now with this 13, that's four. That's like the 1111 11 to me. Somebody now knows they need to make the effort because they feel you are, you know, somebody that will bring stability into their life. Somebody that will bring love, happiness, joy. This is someone very drawn to you, very attracted to you. And we have Sheila E., a love bazaar. So this person really knows, like, this is, um, you know, it's been a bizarre love story, you know, especially because I get strong runner chaser. So you've been running after somebody that's been running away. And I feel like you just got tired of chasing after someone because you realize with the self-love that you, you're the catch. Like, why the fuck is you chasing some shit when you're the catch? So you turned your ass around and you started to focus on you. You know, you started to realize that. And now somebody's realizing after you stop chasing them that you're the lover. Four, 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 four. So many of you started to get those downloads. Somebody's also getting, you know, some sort of grand epiphany, you know, that they've been acting very bizarre. They haven't been really being their authentic self, that they've been very proud, very egotistical. Maybe, as I said in the beginning, somebody was an attention whore. And maybe this is somebody who could be a little conceited, self-absorbed. 
you know, maybe they were, um, they lacked self conscious, like self awareness, you know, they weren't cognizant of their actions because they were so busy, like getting a lot of attention, you know, with this 19, I definitely feel like there was an ego death. And I feel like you helped with that. You kind of like taught them to humble themselves because somebody was very proud and very like up in their head thinking, the sh you know, the sun rised and set on their ass. And you was the one that showed them otherwise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's tap into it and we're going to get some additional messages. Let me see what else we're going to get. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what we got. Push this over. So you got the sun. Yep. Grand epiphanies, aha moments. Somebody also realizes that life was so much happier, so much better. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's realizing you brought a lot of love, a lot of light, a lot of laughter into their lives. A lot of joy with Love Bazaar. As I said, y'all may have a very bizarre love story. Maybe this, you know, how you met, you know, but I'm picking up like this is somebody, you know, um, that could be like a past life love. So when you meet this person, You'll feel very familiar. Maybe there will be a bizarre way in which you'll meet this person. But I am sensing, um, you know, there is an ex that is also, you know, could be going through um, an ego death because you you took some time out to love on yourself and you stop focusing on them and stop prioritizing them and stop giving them your attention and your time and your energy. And now they're kind of like going through Scorpio withdrawal. But you're here living your best life. Good things is, is, is happening. You know, you're feeling very happy, very satisfied, very content. And we got indecision here. So somebody's up in their head. You know, this is self-imposed mental anguish. That eight is reminding me like the eight of swords. This is like indecision. But this is also like self-deceit. Um, you know, somebody deceiving themselves. This is somebody like self-sabotaging because they're not, you know, they're not listening to their own intuition. They may be listening, you know, to... Um, the people around them, you know, or like I said, you know, this pride, you know, listening to, you know, the devil on the shoulder opposed to the angel or the, opposed to Christ consciousness. They listen to that devil say, no, don't call. No, you know, fight it. Because I feel like somebody really wants to to reach out, really wants to come towards you. But they are like, you know, they're fighting it. And with this son, it's like, as I said, you know, they, they know that things were happier. Things were much more um fulfilling when you were in their lives you got carnocopia coming in i feel like also you guys you know maybe this um some level of uh confusion you know because you feel torn you know maybe you were feeling torn in the past you know with this indecision but i do feel you'll make the right decisions i feel like you're going to make the right decisions maybe you're going to have multiple options and you got some sort of devil energy here so be mindful because they see that you're getting wish fulfillment. And like I said in the beginning, um, you know, you you're now radiating love and light. So you're going to start attracting, you know, a lot of amazing things to you. Wish fulfillment. Miracles are being granted like money's going to start pouring in. You're going to start attracting your soul tribe, soul family, a lot of authentic and genuine connections. But then you're going to have people from your past that's going to be very jealous, very envious of, you know, the love that you're getting. You know, this is somebody who's also trying to plot and plan and scheme or how they can also get, you know, some of this moolah that you're being blissed with as well. See, this this is somebody trying to keep you stuck, you know, so don't let anybody come back and have you all trapped, you know, with mind fuckery, with gaslighting, with fairy tales, because that's what this person do does. This is an illusionist. This is a trickster. You know, they, they, they function and operate you know, through trick knowledge, you know, they, they'll make something appear so great, but it's really, it's like, it's to your demise. And this is somebody who's watching you, studying and trying to figure out how to bring chaos, how to cause confusion, to have you all tied up mentally. You know, when you tied up mentally, you can't do shit. When your mind is, is, you know, confused, when you are, you know, suffering and from, from, uh, mental anguish and conflict it's like you can't even do your day-to-day -day things you know you can't even take no ride and uh, down to the grocery store because you there's a chance you could get in an accident so this is what this person likes to do likes to have you up in your head confused you know but i do feel because this is 27 you know you you're very hip with this 23 
you know, maybe this person was used to just saying things, you know, to have you stuck, to have you confused. And maybe that's why the divine is saying self-discipline. You can't allow anybody to come in and have you, um, have you all stuck and tied up and confused. It's like you got to implement self-discipline. And when you have self-discipline, that's about self-respect. That's about integrity, dignity. You know, that's about standing erect, standing perpendicular in your square, you know, and not allowing people to do shit like this to you. So that's why that self-discipline in there is there because that's like the heart of the matter. So you do have somebody who's really very uh, meticulous and very um, calculating, you know, in how they want to come in or how they want to treat you. So you got to be very mindful because we got love bazaar here. So you do also have someone very genuine. You know, this is a man holding a heart. So this is somebody coming in with their heart in their sleeve, somebody very emotionally intelligent that will be available emotionally, you know. And when you walk away, look what happens. The door to value will open up for you. So you got to make that choice. I feel like a lot of y'all did make the choice because I was hearing, you know, in the beginning, like, you know, um, me, myself and I. And I also feel like with that self-love, this is the this is how you exhibit self-love. You know, this is what self-love looks like. Walking away from those relationships that left you feeling emotionally bankrupt, dismissed, unappreciated, devalued. And we have uh, Barrington Levy, Levy and it's called murderer. So somebody murdered, killed, destroyed a relationship and you're walking away. And as you walk away, the divine is showering you with this abundance, with this wish fulfillment, with this blessing, the door to value. It's like your, your value goes up. You know, it's like your value goes up. Your stock goes up once you implement self-love by walking away because you teach other people how to treat you. This is 27. So that's the major change, you know, that you made. And this also is, you know, what self-discipline looks like, knowing, you know, to to um, to exhibit self-respect. It's like, you know, at some point you got to you got to show that you respect yourself, you know. So let's go ahead. We're going to cut the stack. We already an hour into the reading. Look at that. 52 minutes. When I say I deep dive, I deep dive. So we got a couple of messages that want to be expounded. So yin yang. Look at that. So you're now in balance because you've walked away. You see how when you make decisions that's best for you and you're not always putting other people before you, how you can come back into balance. Somebody was throwing you out of balance because you was putting all your time, all your attention into that person, into that relationship. And it was throwing you out of equilibrium because they wasn't reciprocating. And so now that you've walked away, now you're in harmony. And now when you're in harmony, you're going to meet other people that are vibrating in harmony. You're going to find harmonious connections. And that's why you had that spiritual partnership, because now you're going to meet somebody that's going to also be, you know, um, a like mind, you know, like attracts like. So the yang to your yin, yin to your yang is coming in. And you also have woman um, holding a coin. So see how you got your stability back. This is independent self-sufficiency. You know, so you was in codependence, a, a codependent relationship, as I said, you know. And so the murderer, as I said, the death of the old you, you killed that bitch. You killed that mofo. You killed them because they was killing your joy and your happiness and your peace. So you had to kill them. The person that was implementing all of this toxic shit and doing all of this shit also aided in killing them. But you said you you left that version of you with with a smile on your face because you realized how much you was being just just duped, taken for granted. Now you are more self-sufficient and independent. Now you guys have your own. Now, you know, you know, that the foundation of your independence is, you know, rooted in your ability to be self-sufficient It is rooted in your ability to to, you know, know how to manage money. Now you're balanced. This six is harmony. This four is stability. So now you are stable. You're secure. And this is attractive. Look at this. The garden and the, and the gate. This is fearing the unknown. Somebody's spending their time looking out, wondering, and what if, and how would this be? And it's like, yo, if you don't walk your ass out that gate and go see, this is about taking those risks, being more daring. Being more adventurous, not being holed up in, 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 in uh, someone's possession, you know. This three is about, you know, maybe this is you saying, okay, let, let me plan my escape. Let me get out of this situation. Because remember, you had walking away and that was 27. So it's like a lot of y'all 
you know, spent probably three years planning an escape, three years, you know, um, working on saving up some money. And then you're finally making the decision to leave it, you know. So and you did so with the assistance uh, and the aid of your ancestors. As I said, I felt heavy ancestor and um, angel uh, spirit team presence like they were really guiding you. You see these orbs of light all around, you know, these these feminine energies and that number seven. So it's like they was giving you the support. By giving you those downloads. Remember, 7-7 seven, seven came out. So they was telling you, love yourself first. Put that person in the back burner and focus on you. Take your power back now. They was telling you, look, abundance is here. But you got to make that first move to walk away. You got to make that change. And we had Man in the Mirror playing by Jadakiss earlier. So you started to do that shadow work. You started to look at yourself. And what was reflecting back you didn't like, which is why you made the change in the beginning to begin with. So now here we are. And we have James Brown. And this is called King Heroin. So some of these people had addictions, drug addictions. Some of these people were just toxic overall. Incubus, succubus energy, energy vampires. When I hear King Heroin, I just feel like, you know, I, I hear the word addictions and addictions is anything. Sex addiction, drug addiction, gambling addictions, you know, whatever it is that you do too much of, that can become an addiction. And I feel like that's why many of you all could have been stuck. Maybe this was like I said again, like codependent, you know, someone was codependent. And look at that. I referenced this card as I was breaking this one down. And look, on the split again. So this is what you finally made the decision to do, to walk away, to turn your back on that person that was all meek and, and, and um, you know, um, passive and afraid. And you, you said, I'm, I'm leaving. You grew up. You matured. You know, you realized you had to make the change. You looked at the woman in the mirror, the man in the mirror, and you made that change and walked away from that relationship that was not serving your highest good that was not even like satisfying or fulfilling to say the least you know so let's see what we got and that's why your 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 independence is a foundation of your your ability to to stand erect you know this is a beautiful card independence this is beautiful i love that yin and yang now you in harmony now you in balance same two cards look at that all right so that's the divine saying i can cut the deck i love it messages showing back up repeatedly so divine spirit of love and light we got independence see that i mean i said independence we got indecision and that's why you had to uh focus on self-love because a lot of y'all was suffering from self-inflicted self-imposed mental anguish you know but we see here clearly you ended it the world card you ended that confusion because many of you could have been in those codependent relationships and torn between what do I do? Do I stay? Do I go? Because a lot of y'all put a lot of time and energy into it. But this red cape, you know, this red, you know, cloak definitely alludes to the fact that you are um, very wise, you know, very in tune, very tapped in. So you started to tap into your intuition and you used your strength, courage and wisdom to make the decision to make the best choice for you and what was best for you was to focus on the self and right now we have faith evans and the name of this song is heaven only knows and with heaven only knows heaven is you know where you was getting your download especially with that 61 you started to listen to your higher self heaven only knows christ consciousness you started pay attention you didn't know what was going to happen but you knew in order for you to be happy you had to end that connection and so when you made the decision to walk away and to focus on you, this is when you graduated, you leveled up, you ascended. You was able to start attracting, you know, the abundance, the wish fulfillment, the recognition, the rewards. We saw that cornucopia card, which means that there's a lot of abundance. The divine is now going to, you know, um, bless you with the harvest that you deserve. And this 29 is 11. And that's where all of the downloads come from, from spirit, from the divine. So you opened yourself up to receive. You was receptive, you know, so that that person that was causing you confusion, 
And I feel a lot of it was also self-imposed because you wasn't paying attention to the red flags. I do feel like you finally like shook that, you know, you shook it and you and you, 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 you know, you, you, you shook yourself out of that, that confusion because somebody was definitely like manipulating your energy. We already saw the deceit card. So you were being deceived. So it's not like you just did all of this on your own. You was definitely giving people uh, too much credit. You was giving them too much power because you were submitting your will in a lot of ways. And, and by being in a codependent connection, it's like, you know, that that is definitely an illusion. It's entrapment because this person or you, you know, feel like you can't survive without the other. And, and then that's just a trap in and of itself. But with heaven only knows, I feel like you started to get them downloads. You started to receive those transmissions from spirit, from your angel team, just as divine intervention. Because that 29 reduces to 11. So that's like, you know, the divine downloads. And you, you chose to walk away. You chose to leave a situation, a connection. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is abundance here for Scorpios? Wow. Okay, so you got two messages. See that? Appreciation. So you learned, like, you know, by you not being appreciated, somebody not appreciating you, and by you focusing on loving you, by you coming back into harmony, back into balance, this is why you're now being rewarded because of the lack of appreciation. Somebody didn't know your value, but you had to discover your own because you allowed somebody to treat you, you know, in a way, in a manner that was not becoming, that was not respectful. So you had to teach these people how to treat you. And now this person you know, this person had to learn by you turning your back and walking away. You know, this is how you teach them. Like I said, you're going to be the student and a teacher a lot of times, you know, at the same time. And that's what you all had to do. And I feel like this also humbled you. You know, this was a humbling moment. This was something that you had to also um, take account of, take a uh, take onus of, you know, that you also were the culprit. That's why I was picking up the fact that, like, you know, the, the first step to healing is looking at yourself before you start, you know, being playing the victim. It's like, let me let me let me work on me, you know, but I also feel like this is good karma. You're getting good karma. You're getting a blessing, a reward. You're getting some sort of success, some sort of victory breakthrough, because a lot of you all humbled yourselves. A lot of you all paid attention to whatever the divine was communicating with you. You know, a lot of you all were receptive to those messages. The thinking man, see that? This is somebody who is controlling. This is somebody that was just used to having you in their control. When I see this thinking man, this is somebody that's very calculating, like I said. You know, this is 46. This is that 10. This is that person you ended things with. This is that person, and it should go like this. Because you've turned your back on that person, and this person is still trying to, you know, hold on to your energy. Maybe they're now seeing your worth and value. Because they didn't appreciate you before. And now they're realizing after you done walked your ass away. Because remember that song by David Ruffin was my whole world ended when you walked away. When you left me. And so now this person is sitting here kind of like remem reminiscing, you know. And also trying to plot and plan and scheme and scan in some way. You know, how to come in. Or maybe this is somebody new that the divine is bringing in. You know, somebody is being cued in like a divine masculine or divine feminine to come in and, you know, now um, be more caring, more attentive. Because, you know, when I see these archways, you know, and those like to me um, speak to someone initiating, like you're being initiated into a position. So I almost feel like somebody is almost being initiated by perhaps your angels and guides because there's two feathers in his hat. So this is like a higher frequency like of energy. So this is somebody who could be like strategizing and planning and preparing to come in to court you. So it's almost like as I've been saying for some reason for the past couple of reading readings, I've been hearing Q Scorpio's lover. You know, when I say Q Scorpio's lover, it's like the divine is saying, you know, like behind the curtain, it's like, OK, now that person can enter the scene. But that's what I'm getting a sense of. Like this person is now being cued to come in and you see how he's kind of like you know, holding something. And it's almost like this person will give you more uh, attention, would be more attentive, um, will be more um, available. And so we have this song, um, SOS Band, Tell Me If You Still Care. So maybe this is like a twin flame connection and somebody is like literally trying to figure out if you still care about them. 
because this is someone, maybe this is someone that, like I said, you could have known. Maybe you knew somebody and you, you, you know, run a chaser type of dynamic. This is such a weird reading because I get X energy, then I get some new energy like twin flame energy, run a chaser energy. And you wasn't doing no chasing because you was like, I am the catch. See that? Okay, so maybe this is somebody who's um, very deceptive, a sneaky energy that's really trying to... Um, to be calculating because this is the number 10 and then we got the devil here you know and so maybe this person is going to try to pull on your heartstrings and you got to use discernment use your intuition not fall for the traps because this is somebody who's relentless so use your intuition this is the number 25 so at, this is the devil so like the seven deadly sins greed you know um lust jealousy hatred and whatever those seven deadly sins so this is to me that but it's also the divine saying like use your intuition if somebody comes back saying hey do you still care about me maybe they're just trying to finesse you this is somebody that could be because they're both holding something so this is like that same energy you know this is that same energy they're both like holding you but one person is kind of watching whereas the other person seems to be like more i don't know i feel like i don't know i just get good energy from this person i don't feel like this is that bad person even though that's 10 I feel like this is like, you know, maybe somebody is um, going through their own, you know, karmic lessons or they're, they're kind of like ending their own relationship so that they could go and find their divine feminine. Maybe they're strategizing, planning, preparing to, you know, exit a connection that where they were feeling a lack of appreciation or value. But I do feel like somebody is still watching you plotting, scheming and maybe trying to use some sort of emotional manipulation to keep you stuck to keep you bound to keep you entrapped you know confused mind fucked so divine spirit of love and light why is self-discipline here and you see how you got this rest you know and rejuvenation and the, and that time out definitely tells me that's what you had to do so you got the garden and the gate you have the archangel uriel that's your crown chakra and I've been talking about a lot about crown chakra, and this is 41, and this is 41. See that? But look what two cards just flew out together that I referenced earlier. This is powerful. See that? This. See that? So the walking away, and then the garden and the gate. So that's what this person was trying to do. They were trying to keep you stuck, you know, especially with tell me if you still care. So this is somebody who's trying to keep you stuck, trying to keep you like, because this is somebody codependent, you know, with that three, I just feel like, you know, this is somebody who probably has like third party shenanigans. And so they kind of keep you put, they try to, trying to keep you stuck, trying to keep you someplace, you know, put away until they're ready to deal with you, you know, and you're just like, you're unfulfilled. You're looking out into this world. Like, I know there's something better out there. And you finally make the decision to go out and see exactly what it is. But look how much time it took, you know, because it's almost like some of y'all was with someone since you was like teenagers in high school, grew up. And then you finally said, I'm done, done. You know, maybe you guys were with someone since you was 27. Maybe you met someone when y'all was in like the third grade. You know, maybe you met somebody was in you when you was in your third year of college or something. But it's like you're finally saying, I'm done. I'm leaving. Maybe there was six years uh, in a partnership, in a marriage, and it took, you know, that long for you to finally make the decision to walk away. And I feel like you're making that decision because, as I said, everything is telling you it's time. You know, you're trusting your, your higher self. Your higher self is instructing you to walk away because, you know, there's no satisfaction, no joy, no peace, no fulfillment there, none, not emotionally, not spiritually. It's just like you're on a completely different page from someone. And you're getting those downloads. You're getting, you know, the um, encouragement from spirit to do that. And when you do, look what you're doing. You're taking a time out to itself to heal, you know. And you're getting all, you're getting like restored. You're getting recharged. Like I said, maybe some of y'all are going out in nature. Maybe you're going and sitting by that body of water and you're feeling recharged and rejuvenated. And this is why. Because you're now focusing on the self. This is the number 19. That's 10 this is also 10. So you're taking that time out. That's like hermit mode to do that internal work, soul searching. And you're, you know, kind of like um, 
you're learning new things about yourself in terms of, you know, what your language is, your love language is, what you need to leave, what you need to part ways from, you know, what habits, belief systems, ideologies, people, places, things that need to be cut off. You know, and I feel like from you taking this time out, it's like you're going to emerge, you know, not only, like I said, recharged, rejuvenated, but also very wise, you know, very wise. You're making conscious decisions moving forward about the people you're going to have around you and allow to be around you. My nose is tingling like crazy. So why is this 37 time out here? Good Lord. Do I take all of these? Okay, no. Put those back in there. And the cards are bang, bang, boogie. See, karma, dharma. This is your karma. The seeds that you, the, the seeds you've planted are now sowing. That's why you had carnicopia show up. That's why abundance is here. That's why that love card showed up. Because it's like you all have done the work. You did the soul work. And now, you know, there's a contract that's up. You're leaving a relationship. Some of you all are dissolving your marriages. You're signing those divorce papers, finalizing that, you know, connection. And, and you're moving on. And I feel like the divine is encouraging you to do so. The divine is, you know, siding with you. And we have um, Erica Badu, and this is called incense. You know, so some of you all with this incense, maybe some of you all like to burn incense when you meditate. Divine spirit of love and light. Thank you. See that strategy. What did I say? Taking time, meditate to get it straight, to contemplate. You know, this is what you're doing, taking time out to do internal work, deeper dives. And you're going to emerge with a plan. You're going to emerge knowing which direction you're going to go. You're going to be more assertive and you're going after what you want. It's like a new beginning, a new start. This 21 is about manifestation. So it's like you're doing a lot of a lot of planning, preparing, strategizing. You know, you're, you're assessing the situation, evaluating things, but you're first working internally. I also feel like somebody that you've taken a time out is strategizing how to come back. And it's been requiring patience. Good things take time to create. And divine timing is the best timing. And so whoever's coming in, you know, this person is coming in to come for a long time. Not just a good time, a fun time, but they're coming for a long time. So I'm getting like Knight of Pentacles energy, King of Pentacles energy. You know, somebody who's definitely invested. You know, they look to invest. They look to commit. They look to work together, to team together, to collaborate, to compromise. You know, so a lot of you have been very patient with the process. And again, trusting your intuition, trusting your inner gumption. Why is pride here? See that? Look at this. This is what you had to break free from. Somebody had an ego death. I knew it. I knew it. Somebody was just very toxic. This is somebody that just thinks that they can just do what they want to do, have what they want to have, and they don't have to take no responsibility, accountability for their actions. This is somebody that expects you to chase them, to cater to them. They're supposed to just do whatever they want. This is somebody that's codependent on you, though. Somebody's still holding on, lingering in the background, even though you, 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 you know what I'm saying, you chucked up the deuces and moved on. This is that X energy. I'm feeling strongly. This is the person that you ended things with and you ended things with them so that you can move on with your life. And they're pissed off, ticked off because they're like, how dare you? This is that person that like I was picking up very, you know, very um, self-absorbed, not self-aware. Somebody who feels like they should have whatever they want their way. Very narcissistic. And this is somebody conceited, you know, and deceitful, dishonest, a liar got addictions you know this could have been somebody that was cheating especially with this pride this person did so much dirt there's so much shit they did to you you still don't even know about but you know there's an unknowing there's this intuition that you know that some shit was going on but you don't have the, the actual evidence of it but you know this person was doing you dirty because you already got the downloads and the epiphanies which is why you walked your ass away in the first place because they were so busy out there entertaining everything with a pulse you know, and they didn't feel like they needed to even apologize for the dirt they did. This is somebody that's like, I ain't apologizing for shit. I'm taking shit to the grave. That's their mentality. Immature, you know, very immature. They don't take accountability. And this is somebody you had a family with. And that's why that contract card was showed up, because that person, you, you're dissolving the marriage because they, they defiled it. They took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you. They was trying to control you, control your actions. 
This person was trying to keep you mind fucked, stuck, delusional. And they're still, they're still trying. And they refuse to take onus and accountability for their actions. They still refuse to give you, you know what I'm saying, any answers. Some of you all are stuck on getting um, some sort of answers or some sort of an apology. But I feel many of you, you know, have already just accepted the apology you never received. But it's like this person's still trying to convince you they want you, they don't want you to leave, but they've yet to even say, look, I apologize. And it's because of pride. This is immaturity. When somebody is too proud, stubborn, egotistical, chauvinistic or whatever, self-absorbed, that ain't nobody thinking about you. That's somebody that's just thinking about what they got in, in mind, like whatever plans they got in mind. Maybe this is, like I said, somebody that's very codependent on you and they, they will not be able to function without you. This was once a happy connection or maybe, you know, you thought it was. At some point in time, it had to be because you was in it. But I feel like this person was just a liar, a cheat, an um, emotional, manipulative, calculating, you know, person. And with this, you know, happy family, this is all you desire. This is what you have coming in. And we got tomorrow playing. And this is by BB and CC Winans. So some of y'all might get a call from somebody who's going to try to finesse you. I heard the word finesse. Some of y'all may receive a phone call from somebody. And they may be trying to use the family. You know, maybe you have a family with this person. Maybe they're going to try to use the family as some way to pull on your emotional strings. And you got to be uh, quicker than that. You know, you got to be on point because I feel like this person is just talking because they have lips. I don't feel like they're sincere at any in any way, shape, form or fashion. So let's see what else we got. Let's get some messages from a deck that I created. All right. And so tomorrow, somebody, I don't know, maybe somebody's anniversary is tomorrow. Or maybe there's some significant um, date, you know, for some of you all. It's going to be 2-4. Uh, it's going to be February 4th. So I don't know if tomorrow is, you know, some significant number. I do know that's 2 2 2 2 2, two. So... That's another two synchronicity because four, that's two two. So something significant may be happening. So what does that reduce to? Two, two, two. That's 12, three. So maybe somebody that you haven't heard from is coming back. Maybe you're going to get a phone call or something. Maybe somebody's returning. Maybe somebody's. Uh, as I get three of. Um, I don't know. I, I was getting three of cups energy. Maybe this is somebody trying to convince you they want to work together. So bottom of the deck, we got bright future, infinite supply. No need to worry. Better days ahead. Success, security, stability, attracting all that you desire. And then we have um, Missy Elliott beat me 911. So maybe somebody going to call you with a sob story. Somebody going to call you telling you they need something. And it's because they, they, they think you're, you know, they got, you got some money. Maybe they're trying to scheme on how to get some money from you. But the divine is saying, blocker, 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 access denied. I don't think y'all going to be available anyway. Because you all have set up, like, healthy boundaries as is. So you're not falling for the okie doke. Let me get my cards in order. Because these cards are all over the place. They're not even straight. Let me just make sure... Because they did fall when I was um, bringing my cards to the table. I apologize. Let me let me not do this on camera. Give me one moment, y'all. All right, my bad. I just want, I didn't want to do all of that on camera. I have y'all sitting here listening to all. Of it. All right, so let's go ahead. Cut the deck. See what's coming and going out, going on. So we got lion ass, truth ain't in you, and happy house, happy spouse. So that's oxymoron. So you was thinking you was in this happy house. Remember we had that, you know, this this beautiful, happy family on the bottom of the stack. So this is what you thought you was in. Happy house, happy spouse energy. And you was dealing with somebody who was a pathological liar. And we see that with this deceit card. And we also see that this person is immature because they're not only deceitful, but they're very proud. You know what I'm saying? So they, they take pride in, in hurting people and deceiving people and trying to get away with with lies and trickery and, you know, very, very um, calculating. I just keep hearing calculating because this deceit card is right next to strategy. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's like planning and preparing, you know, trying to plan and prepare someone's downfall, plotting, scheming, just this, just negative energy, you know, and they're so used to having you boxed in, so used to having this control. You see how he's holding something in his hand? So it's like they're used to having you in their grip, even here. You know, even though I was trying to feel good energy, I still feel, you know, this person didn't appreciate you. They was trying to control you, but they didn't appreciate you. And trying to keep you in this place of mind fuckery. Stop gaslighting you, you know, giving you just enough to make you feel, you know, that there's possibilities. And but it's it's really not. It's just for their own, you know, it's only, you know, they're only doing what's best for them. So we have you are a miracle and you deserve the best. Happy house, happy spouse. So you're absolutely attracting what you are now. You absolutely know your worth and value, know what you bring to the table. So that's why I was picking up. You're not settling. See that? Somebody's coming in to mind fuck you. We got Beep Me 911 by Missy Elliott here. And so somebody is definitely going to try to call you, you know, and they're going to try to make it seem like they have some sort of emergency. And it's only because this is what they're like plotting. You know, strategy is like plotting. But the divine is telling you, you know, take some time out to assess the situation. Take a step back before you take any action. Take a step back, you know, take a rest. Remember, rest and rejuvenation showed up. So take that moment of 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 um, time out and trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. You also got self-discipline. So you don't have to stoop to anybody's level. You don't have to let nobody, um, you know, string you along. Stay in your power. Stay in control. See that? I don't have any standards and will put my thing in anything. Dog, stray cat, mind sex. What did I say? That's what this energy is. This person is still out doing their thing because that card I was seeing, I was hearing like, you know, somebody was, you know, still has some sort of third party, you know, this is somebody that never makes the effort. This is somebody that just enjoys mind fucking people gaslight. It's like a game to this person. I'm feeling it's like they like to think that they're smarter than they actually are. They like to, you know, play games with people and and get away with shit. And the divine is telling you, don't settle for less. You already know your worth and value. You the divine feminine. You got too much things, you know, too much business to handle now. Like you, you creative, you got your family, you got your job, like you, you doing so much to rebuild your lives and you don't need nobody coming in trying to distract you and being deceitful after you did all this work. And now that you're focusing on you, this person is trying to plot and scheme some way to, to detract you off your path and distract you from your path ultimately. So now somebody, you know, with this, I'm sorry for pushing you away. I long for your smile, your conversation. You get me. The divine is saying, yes, yeah, somebody can apologize, you know, but an apology, a true apology is in change behavior. So you'll know if somebody's sincere, if they just, you know, run in game. This is somebody you had issues with. I get mommy issues, daddy issues, the mother to your children, father to your children. This is somebody who also suffers from mommy and daddy issues. Remember that song, Daddy um, Lessons, was playing by Beyonce. So some of you all may have grew up without a mother or grew up with like very uh, tumultuous relationships with the mothers or the fathers or of you or your fathers. Maybe you were abandoned as children and your grandmothers or your aunts raised you and you always felt abandoned or you always got into relationships where the men was barely there or the woman was barely there. Or maybe men, you got into relationships with women who were trying to treat you like they were their, your dad. You know, they were looking for their fathers in their men because they were looking to be loved and protected and you all felt like you was in these these like unsettling connections and you had to try to understand why do you attract those type of people bruise damaged souls you know and it's because you have a purpose you know and your purpose is to help them heal and to help them do their internal work as you all have been doing somebody's definitely spying stalking watching just like this person here like i was saying keeping tabs this is somebody definitely setting up dummy accounts because this person is the type of person that thinks they're too smart for their own good. Like they really think they are, you know, outsmarting everybody. And I feel like you can't outsmart somebody who's like already 10 steps ahead of the game. You're, you're like literally, you know, getting downloads from the divine, like your you're higher self. You got sevens all across the board. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that you have grown very sensitive to is energy. So you already can pick up on the fact that this person's intentions aren't good. This old death stare that they've given you, even if they was smiling in your face, you no longer are taking that as, you know, sincerity or somebody who's, you know, you know, warm and gentle inside. Like, no, nah, you know, this person is literally like they, they have this angst. They have this 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 disdain. 
you know, they, they are seething, you know, and they watching and they watching. Why? Because they trying to plot scheme and scam some sort of strategy, you know, to, to attack you. And we got case missing you playing. So they definitely miss you. We already know that, you know what I'm saying? Because we saw earlier David Ruffin saying, you know, that somebody's missing you. But this could be a new love because I do feel, again, as I said, that there could be somebody also, you know, thinking of you, thinking, you know, very um, fond. You know, they have fond thoughts of you. You know, this is somebody that could not, you know, maybe in the past, you know, if you do know this person. Um, and this isn't an ex. I feel like this is somebody that could possibly be like a twin flame or a new love interest. But this is somebody who who misses being around you. Somebody who was kind of like that like mine because I saw a spiritual relationship in the beginning. So I do feel like you all have some sort of special connection with somebody who does miss you genuinely. And this person did not appreciate you in the past. Perhaps they took you for granted. You know, maybe this is somebody who was very busy, somebody who was focused on, you know, maybe their stability. Maybe they was trapped in, you know, some sort of karmic relationship the same as you because you tend to, you know, attract what you are. And maybe the two of you are mirroring one another in that way. But maybe this is somebody who's like now trying to figure out how to come back, how to come towards you um, because they do miss you. Because I'm hearing a lot of songs that are, are not just, you know, rooted around this deceptive energy. I feel this new love coming in because you did have that love card shut up. You did have spiritual partnership show up. And I do feel like because there's so many interchangeable numbers that came out in the reading, I feel like there's a twin flame dynamic here. And there's somebody that's watching you that's also willing to invest, also willing to take their time to get it right. That could be strategizing a way to come back to have, you know, a, a, a stronger connection with you. And so we have most deaf, and this is called fake bonanza. See that? No time for fake ones, and we got fake bonanza. So you do got some fake shit watching you. Y'all got to be very careful, very mindful. You know, I've been telling y'all for the past couple of months, be mindful to, you know, um, look through your, your, your social media accounts. Make sure you don't got no fugazis that's sitting there, like, just getting a whole show. Sitting there eating popcorn and, and learning your whole life story, taking your pictures and doing some old voodoo hoodoo bullshit. Like somebody's definitely tuning in. And these are people you cut off. So if y'all have like TikTok or social media platforms that's just like wide open to the public, you might want to privatize them because there's definitely a lot of eyes watching, lurking, scheming, plotting, scamming. And these are motherfuckers with bad intentions. You know what I'm saying? And they hate what they can't duplicate. You know what I'm saying? They mad at the fact that you walked your ass away. They mad at the fact that you started to focus on self. Self-love makes you more attractive. They're mad at the fact that you're starting to attract a lot of beautiful things in your life. Emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, contentment. They hate the fact that you can see through their bullshit. They're sitting here watching you, maybe your YouTube channel, maybe your TikTok, and they're watching you talk about them. And that's like making them even more upset. You know what I'm saying? Even more obsessed. You know what I'm saying? They see that you're unique. You're rare. You're a star. You got star quality. You just naturally attract people to you without trying. Whereas this person has to manipulate motherfuckers and lie and cheat and steal. But you're just naturally attractive. You're just naturally, you got that it factor, that star quality. You ain't going by words. What did I say? Actions got to show. Actions got to show and prove. Somebody could come in and say all this sweet shit. You like, yeah, show me. Because I've heard those words before. You know what I'm saying? That's all you dealt with is motherfuckers saying a bunch of shit. But their actions showed otherwise, proved otherwise. See that? Mommy, daddy issues. Mommy issues, daddy issues. This is somebody who made a lot of empty promises, definitely was gaslighting, just making empty promises, saying, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to have that. And you learn from that. You learn not to just, you know, fall for the okie doke. We got fake bonanza. So somebody definitely was being fake. Somebody was definitely just gaslighting and that you was being spiritually guided and divinely protected from this person who has a lot of internal issues, a lot of trauma. Somebody needs to heal their inner child. Because they come off very childish. This is somebody like, you know, everything's supposed to go their way. And so if it doesn't go their way, then they're going to force it to go their way by being manipulative, by being calculating, by not giving a damn about who they hurt and how they hurt them. Whether you somebody that they, you know, so-called loved. I don't think that type of energy can genuinely love anyway. 
They don't even love themselves, to be honest. See that? Mommy, daddy issues. Mommy issues, daddy issues. This is the mother or father to your child. Some of y'all, this could be your own mother or your father. I feel like there also was, you know, a parent that's in the spirit realm that was like giving you some downloads, like telling you, you know, that spiritual guidance to like trust what you're feeling intuitively. Focus on the self-love. Don't let nobody have you stuck in confusion and have you stuck in mental traps, gaslighting you, making promises. You have to love yourself first and foremost because y'all was in loveless relationships. Y'all was in toxic connections. Y'all was in relationships with people who was just with you for the security, for the stability, for the comfortability and, you know, ultimately the convenience. And you had to realize your own worth and value. And that's why self-love is there because this person was not reciprocating anything. They weren't giving you love, showing you love. They weren't appreciating you. They was taking you for granted and they was keeping you stuck in mental confusion, you know, with their deception, with their deceitful ways. This person betrayed you beyond measure. Like this person definitely knew how to, to mind fuck you. Like this is somebody that definitely took pride in, you know, emotional manipulation or just manipulating period. They were master manipulators. And that's why the, your angels, your ancestors, you know, I feel like you're, you're a parent. You know, you had a father because we had daddy um, lessons. I feel like your fathers were very instrumental in waking you up to what was going on. And we got Dave East and this is called Never Been. Yeah, so this person never been in a healthy love sh love connection, which is why, you know, I feel like you attracted them because maybe some of you all were trying to heal, you know, from mommy, daddy issues. Maybe some of you all were abandoned. And so you just naturally attracted people that just was not going to be there. You know, they, they were just flighty, unreliable, you know, people that would not be as reciprocal in the connections as you were. So you had to learn from that. Those were the lessons you had to learn from the mother or the father of your child, you know. And so with show me, like I said, now you're more cognizant of going by actions, you know, going by the way things, um, you know, the way they are opposed to the way that somebody is trying to paint the picture. It's like, no, you're going to have to show me, beloved. You love me. OK, the words sound nice. It's cute. That's cute. Show me. <laughs> show me that you love me because there's, you know, the, the actions, you know, because you weren't appreciated. And I feel like somebody is going to be more willing to show you now. Somebody is going to come in and they're going to be more attentive and they're going to be, you know, more willing to be available, emotionally available. You know, they're going to show that affection. They're going to court you. They're going to give you the attention that you need. You know, this is somebody who's also been through a lot. So they've also learned, you know, how to uh, how to. Um, they've also learned how to, you know create a healthy um, relationship dynamic. You know, they're listening to their angels and their ancestors. I also feel like, you know, your angels and ancestors are cueing this person because we got this pink card and that pink deals with the heart chakra. So I do feel like there's abundance of love. There's an abundance of love, abundance of, you know, even somebody coming in to appreciate you, to court you, to be chivalrous, to be caring, you know, to be vested, you know, so why is um, abundance, appreciation, the thinking man here for Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. See that? What did I just say? Somebody's coming in and it says, I love how you love me content. So this person will be more attentive. They will be more affectionate. They will be more invested. This is somebody that will be like your rock. This is somebody that the divine is sending in for you. Because I kept picking up good vibrations with this card. Because like I said, those archways in the background, that's like somebody being initiated. So you was appointed this person. It's like the angels are appointing this person. This person will appreciate you. They will value you. You know, they will give you the attention. They will give you that time. They will be honest. They will be communicative. This is a man's man. This is somebody that will be very loving, very attentive. And I feel like you're going to be appreciative. You know, you're going to appreciate this person, you know, because they, they're, they're like speaking your love language. It's like the divine is sending somebody that's also um, sees you as wish fulfillment because you got double eights. So this person is someone that you may have prayed for, wished for. And it's like the divine is bringing this person in. It's like Hugh Scorpio's love interest now. And then they, you know, enter the scene. So this is beautiful. So divine spirit of love and light. Look at the success. You got abundance coming in. You know what I'm saying? You just start attracting things when you know your love, your self-worth. 
You know, when you love yourself, you become more attractive. And I feel like there's a lot of um, blessings coming in. There's some of you all promotions, pay increase. Maybe you're making some really good business investments. You're going to see a return on those investments. I feel like a lot of you, you're manifesting your dreams. And we got um, Winter Gordon. This is called Stop Hating. So there's a lot of people hating on you because you're shining right now. And like I said, don't let nobody get you, you know, out of um, character, you know, self-discipline, you know, because these people are going to be hating, you know, and they only mad because you walked away and they couldn't keep you contained and stuck on stupid because you see through their bullshit. Highly intuitive. I feel like a lot of y'all know change is coming in terms of your finances. Like, you know, you about to hit it big, strike it big. You know, in love, strike it big, in money, like something is coming. You can feel it. You can sense it. And you feel successful. It's like a breakthrough that's about to go break through. It's a breakthrough that's about to break through. And this is literally like a blessing. It's a reward from spirit. So why is, um, what is that again? Oh, self-discipline, Archangel Uriel, Garden and the Gate, walking away here for Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. See that? Changing your direction. You're blocking this person. Access denied. Now I know what I need to do because you got stop hating. So the people you've cut off, the people you've walked away from, the people that no longer have access to you, that the divine told you, look, watch them. You know what I'm saying? Watch them. Move in silence. Don't fall for the okie doke. The people you're act, you've, you've blocked their access, the people that you've detached, the people you've cut off. They're frustrated. They're mad. And they're also mad that they can't make you angry any longer, that they can't affect your mood. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, whoever angers you, they literally control you. And you all learn that trick. And that's why you're walking away. You know what I'm saying? These are people who are used to keeping you stuck, keeping you bound, keeping you, you know what I'm saying, like stuck and stagnant. Res you know, just as literally somebody not, um, you know, losing losing some sort of control they may have felt they had over you and i feel like because she's holding this book it's like you've learned you've mastered your craft you've learned the art of um you know self-discipline of protecting yourself by removing yourself from situations you know removing yourselves changing what no longer serves you paying attention to how things feel how they sit in your spirit Trusting your intuition, using discernment in those relationships and not just giving people the benefit of the doubt or just staying stuck and stagnant because it's comfortable. It's convenient. You said, no, nah, I'm, I'm walking away and I'm going to see what else is out there because I know I deserve better. And as you did that, you blocked everything, everyone that did not deserve access to you because you realized your love language. I don't do well with people who detach from their emotions, mommy issues, daddy issues or not. It's like you're not judging them no more because you had to heal from your own shit. But it's like you now are speaking your truth. And like I said, with the self-discipline, now you're standing up. You're using, you know what I'm saying? You're standing in your power. You're owning your power. You're, you're demanding your respect. You're not just putting up with that bullshit no more. You're letting people know what time it is and what time it isn't. And, and, and you ain't on this time. This is bullshit. You, you, you're very emotionally intelligent. And so if somebody does not know how to connect with their emotions, that is a disconnect for you. That's not going to work. You know, so why is time out strategy here for our beloved Scorpios? Yeah, you done blocked some folks. And I feel like the divine has blocked some people from you, too. A thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. And that you're not doing. That you're not doing because you've already taken a time out. You're taking a time out and you're focusing on your next plan. You know what I'm saying? On, on, on you know, manifesting new shit. You ain't got time to be worrying about people worrying about you. So do I take all of these cards? Okay, no. Put those back. We had destroy and rebuild. Bright future, infinite supply. No one in this world sees me as you do talking because they have lips. And the world card all showed up. So that's exact. That Look at that. This is somebody definitely <laughs> talking because they have lips. That means somebody's just bullshitting you, gaslighting you, mind fucking you. As somebody trying to like, you know, literally dupe you. So right now we got um, Jay-Z and Kanye West, and this is called Otis. And this is called Watch the Throne Album. So, yeah, this person is watching you now. You know, you've ascended to, you know, you've been king, queen and king. You know what I'm saying? You, you've been crowned king and queen, excuse me. And so they're watching you on your throne, taking time out, 
people are looking at you as a star. You're doing something that's in the spotlight. You're garnering the attention of a lot of people. And somebody is scheming, plotting, and planning how to take you off your high horse. You know what I'm saying? These are the people who are jealous, envious. These are people who are deceitful, lying. They were, these are the type of people that are try to line you up, literally. Try to line you up because they think that you have something that you shouldn't have. You know, these entitled babies. Crazy. So why is time out and strategy here for Scorpios? Look at this, watching me. I can't make this shit up. You got folks watching you, clocking you. And they're watching you have some level of success. You've ended this shit. You ended it. And they trying to plot something. That's what I was saying. Y'all got to be very mindful of what you're sharing, for what you're posting, for what you're doing, for what you're revealing. Even on my phone, I don't never let my location post where I am. You know how you can show like some people will be like at Applebee's on and, and then somebody could just leave, easily pull up what Applebee's you at. That's how so many people done got shot and killed because they done posted up their their locality and mofos hunted them down and and you got to be mindful in this day and time everybody's on demon time you just got to assume people are on demon time until they prove otherwise but you got people watching you so you need to be very mindful and these are not people who have good intentions beloved you know what i'm saying somebody's somebody's scheming because we just had watched the throne you know so they're watching you have some level of success they're watching you you know you've leveled up at some point in time and we got, okay, so maybe this is somebody that admires you, a secret admirer, because you got A alike, B alike, like minds. So maybe this is somebody who's trying to plot um, how to re-enter your life, somebody that you're no longer communicating with or speaking to, somebody that you may have put on time out, or somebody you may have just simply taken a time out, or maybe they took a time out from you. Maybe y'all ghosted one another, stopped speaking to one another. It was just like it ended, you know, just like you just stopped talking to each other. And maybe it's because y'all still had some some baggage y'all had to get rid of. Y'all had to like close up some cycles because I see here, like especially with the world card, it was like you were still going through a dark night of the soul journey. And because there were so many cards that like mirror one another, you have a twin flame that also is going through a similar experience. But you also have a fucking crazy ex and crazy fake ass frenemies and all of the people that like are mad that you cut their asses off and left them in the dust. And you started, the, the sooner you clip them off, you started to see yourself ascend. You started to see things coming into your life that they were blocking because they're fucking energy vampires. And so now somebody that's watching you could be a secret admirer. This is somebody that you may not have spoken to, somebody that you may have cut off or somebody that you may have ghosted or they ghosted you or maybe you moved away. They're trying to plot. And, and, and with this strategy, you know, I see this feather. So this feather is definitely telling me like this, this, the, the angels are behind this. So maybe the angels is like, you know, because we saw patience. So maybe this person is going to come in, you know, in divine timing, you know, because they're trying to come in at the right time. This is somebody that's on your frequency and vibration and that does speak your love language. And with um, we got Boogie Down Production, this is called poetry. So maybe this person will even pen you, you know, like a little poem. You know, maybe this person will like just even send you a song, you know, that's like poetry, you know, the lyrics of a song. But this is somebody that feels you're like poetic, you know, you're beautiful. You know, this is somebody that may feel that, you know, you have a way with words. You know, maybe you have a podcast or maybe you have some sort of platform where you communicate and they feel the things you say are very poetic. Or like I said, maybe you are a poet. Maybe you've published a book and they're reading your your book of poems. You know, maybe you dedicated your book to this person and they and they, you know, that was like almost like they you, you, you let them know that you. You love them or something like that. Almost like that Love Jones movie when she wrote a book or wrote a poem. or I mean, when um, my what's his name? Damn. When Lorenz Tate, when he published, finally published his book, he he dedicated it to Nia. And so maybe that's something that, you know, you all have done or but with this like mind, you're definitely bumping into somebody. Like I said, that's going to be very down to earth and grounded, spiritual, somebody who's also had life experiences they've been through just as much as you if not very similar experiences like the two of you will mirror in that regard and I feel like that's what's going to draw the two of you even closer is the fact that the both of you have very similar um life experiences so why is um pride and deceit here see that can't make this shit up this person is used to playing games mind fucking people gaslighting lying through their teeth their teeth just talking because they have lips 
oh wow another card just flew out it says you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best so this person now sees just how rare you are how special you are and it's a little too late but this person is also they can't help what they are they're the devil they got addictions they got to deal with they got some some inner work they have to do they are not they, they're not on your frequency you bumping into somebody that's on your frequency and they on some some demon time you ain't on demon time because you're, you're like a miracle and you deserve the best. So you're, you're very coming off like earth angel energy. So let me get one more message now, spirit. One more message. Who is this watching Scorpios? Why is this timeout strategy watching Scorpios here? And so we have not with the shits. So that's why this person is watching because they can clearly see that you have no patience for bullshit. And like I said, maybe this is somebody in the past. That may not have uh, appreciated you or they did not give you, you know, um, they didn't give you the attention or, you know, give you the time that you were definitely um, deserving of. And so they may feel like, you know, you're very guarded right now. You know, you're not really going to be as receptive to them. But I feel like empathically, you're, you're, you could feel this. You know, you're an empath. They're an empath. They could feel your energy. They could feel and sense that you are very guarded you know, very protective. And so maybe that's why they're a little apprehensive and maybe that's why they're kind of like going to the drawing board and, and waiting for the appropriate time to come in. On the bottom of the deck, mine on my money, money on my mind. That's what you all are doing. You focus on your stability, your security, your coins, on your future, you know, on your investments. And so right now we got the left and this is called the melody. So let's see what we got. Let's, 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 let's get an additional message. I'm going to pull some messages from, no, I'm feeling like the Orisha's deck. Let's get the Orisha's deck messages, okay? And then we're going to wrap it up. We already got 146 on the clock. All right, so we got the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. You are the Divine Feminine. Remember that creativity card showed up, number three. So you are the Divine Feminine. If you're not a feminine, you're a masculine. You're in that feminine energy of creating, birthing new ideas. You're definitely seen as very nurturing, maternal, paternal, grounded, very loving, caring. And with this mommy issues, daddy issues, we're about to uh, clarify. Maybe some of you all, as I said, this could be the mother or the father of your child that you're dealing with. Or this could be somebody that is. Um, maybe some of you all, like I said, this could be like a parent. So let's see what we got going on. You got the queen of cups here. See that empress and queen of cups. So that's your energy straight out the gate straight out the gate somebody definitely sees you as very loving very caring very nurturing i feel like a lot of y'all are focusing now on yourselves focusing on self-love self-worth self-care you got the two of swords this is like being in two minds literally like this indecision confused conflicted and with my melody it's like you're, you're definitely moving to the beat of your own drum now you're doing shit your way you're not letting anybody come in and, 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 and gaslight and play with you anymore. You know, with the five of wands, competition, secret competition, arguments, fights, just trauma, drama, turmoil, negativity, toxicity, gaslighting, people playing games, competition, people in secret competitions with you. And then we got this night of um, discs. So like I said, I did pick up on Night of Disc in the energy, somebody who's going to take their time to get it right. This is somebody that's going to come in and be chivalrous, court you. This is somebody that's going to serenade you, somebody that's going to take their time to get it right. So they're not rushing in like the Knight of Wands cups or the Knight of Swords. This is somebody that knows like good things take time to create. And this is somebody that does want to invest long term, somebody that does see a future with you, that does want to, you know, um, build a, a, a nucleus, plant seeds and roots and grow with you. And they're going to come in right now. There's no communication. And I feel like it's because somebody is truly trying to, um, you know, find the words, find the right approach because they do see that you're very guarded. This person may have been watching you for a while and they may know that you've been going through a breakup, going through some sort of, you know, um, metamorphosis, you know, that you've been transforming. See that? Look at that. Nine of Cups. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. This is the epiphany somebody has had in your absence in not communicating with you. This is the epiphany. And maybe this person is like also um, realizing that some of the things they've done in the past, you know, could have been done better. 
you know, because this is somebody that also is uh, very intuitive. You know, I feel like this person communicates with you telepathically or intuitively. They see you as wish fulfillment, but they also know that you're very focused on loving yourself because that nine of cups is also about self-love. You know, because you already walked away from an unfulfilling relationship that kept you feeling emotionally bankrupt. And so, you know, that nine of cups is all about like focusing on you, on your dreams, on what you want, your self-love, self-discipline, self-care, you know. And um, so now we have this tower. See that? So there was an ending, some sort of ending, you know, some sort of argument. Something took place. And maybe this is what this person is reflecting back on. Maybe they said some things that they regret. Whoever this person is, this is like twin flame energy because I do get a sense of like accountability. You know, I get a sense of somebody like going um, and doing their work, you know, and, and, and so that they could come towards you. And we got Cheryl uh, Lynn and this is called Encore. So this um, this is and I'm hearing Jay-Z. This is Encore. Do you want more? So it's like this is somebody that wants they want more. So they are watching. See that they're watching. They're studying. See how he's watching, studying. He's like, okay, he's taking, he's taking note. So this is an encore. This is somebody that wants a second chance because an encore is like, you know, you have a beautiful show, you have a beautiful circumstance, and then you just want to encore, encore. Like, it's like, again, it's like almost like telling somebody like, like, like go again, do it again. That's what, that's my interpretation right now in this moment. So it's like, this person is, is, is like literally wanting to come in and say something. Perhaps they want to start off with an apology. Perhaps they want to start off and say, look, I know I, you know, I didn't really, um, you know, take enough time to show you that I cared about you. And she's saying your love deserves an encore. So somebody realizes like your love is unlike anything they've ever met. Like your love hits different. There's no one else like you because we kept seeing you're a miracle. You deserve the best. So someone's had a, a grand epiphany and I feel like they do stay tuned. They like tuned in. And with this person wearing all this white, I do feel like this is somebody that's also um, gone through some sort of um, transformation. You know, maybe they was, like I said, involved in the past and we got the two of discs. So they was trying to give to you, give to somebody else. They was like, in, they was dealing with two different things. And I was picking up the fact that, you know, there was absolutely like, um, you know, mirroring because you're in two minds. This person was in two minds. So it's like, you know, maybe this person definitely, um, was still, you know, attached to somebody. There was still some codependency to something, someone else, maybe even a job if it wasn't, you know, a literal situation, but, um, they were forced to look at themselves and forced to look at the way in which they like, you know, broke this situation down, you know, because these are tree, um, trunks and limbs. And it's like, they literally like, they broke down, you know, the, the connection. It's like, cause trees are, you know, it, it's like, that's like a family tree. So maybe they were going through a breakup, you know, and they're looking at things differently, you know, and, and maybe they're exiting, maybe they're finalizing, cause she's walking out of this circle. So something has come full circle. She's had some sort of epiphany and she's leaving. It's like, she's exiting. She's already exited, you know, this, this, this circle, you know, because there's been some sort of epiphany with the sun there. And so, you know, maybe there was a breakup, maybe there was a um, some sort of um, realization of, you know, just being unhappy, unsettling, you know, something unsettling may have transpired. But let's see, because with mommy issues, daddy issues, this could be a marriage, a relationship, a connection, somebody who definitely had um, troubled relationships with their own parents, somebody who has um, has had to heal, you know, from some sort of childhood trauma. So we have, um, what is this? This is the Four of Swords. So see that? That's literally what self-love is. This is healing from the heartbreak, you know, the pain, the betrayals, you know, going from a place of being enraged to, to now understanding and understanding and overstanding, more importantly, um, you know, that you're not a victim, you know, focus on your healing. This is also about taking accountability, taking onus for what was allowed you know, for what you allowed, you know, for not seeing those red flags. But overall, it's like, you know, with that four sword, that speaks to healing. You know, that speaks to taking a time out. That speaks to, you know, you focusing on the self, you know, and you not uh, being a victim, you know, but being the victor ultimately when you make the decision to finally walk away, to leave a connection. I feel somebody's also uh, being, you know, entering into your life because they see that you've, you know, you've healed. They see that you're healing. And we have this uh, king of discs. So didn't I reference the king of discs? So there you go. That's the king of pentacles. 
So this is absolutely somebody that sees your worth and value. This is somebody that will be attentive, somebody that will be supportive, somebody that will be your rock. You know, this is that type of, you know, masculine that's very, um, you know, very attentive, uh, very caring. Um, you know, this is the person that will protect you, provide for you. They'll be your rock. You know, this is also someone who's very resourceful, you know, but they will appreciate you. And this person will come in and, uh, you know, they will, you know, give you the attention and the time that you need. Because this is someone, like I said, I feel is being initiated. So you need somebody that is very grounded because you're grounded and you'll feel very content emotionally, financially. They'll take care of you. So why is uh, abundance, the thinking man, appreciation? I love how you love me content here. OK. All right. And so we have um, the star. So this, for some of you all, this is somebody that sees you as a wish fulfillment. But I also feel this is somebody that is your wish fulfillment that's coming in because I see these two vessels here. So whenever there's two, this is duality. So this could be that divine masculine, that twin flame that I was speaking of. And the, the star is the, eight, uh, the eighth card in traditional tarot. So this is like 888. So this is always speaking to like abundance, wish fulfillment. You know, your, your miracles, your prayers are being answered from the divine. So there is somebody that sees you as a star. They could be watching you and they're appreciating you more now in your absence than they may have in your presence. But I feel like this is, you know, because you've healed and focused on yourself and worked on self-improvement, on balancing yourself emotionally, you know, this person now can come in and they will appreciate you. And I feel like more importantly, you'll appreciate them. Um, we also have the three of cups and I mentioned that as well. So this is someone, you know, already reuniting, coming back. Um, and, and there's joy, there's happiness. This is somebody that may have been involved, like I said, uh, you know, with two women, because I see two feminines and a masculine here on this card. So there's two feminines and a masculine. So this could have been somebody, like I said, who could have been in between a relationship, like, you know, ending the relationship, but they could have bumped into you in the midst of breaking up or in the midst of trying to figure out where they were going to take that connection. And um, now they realize that they rather go towards you. Uh, we have Jill Scott so gone. So this person is so gone. You know, this person is really um, leaving. They've left the situation. They're gone. They're removed. Um, this Knight of Cups is somebody coming in, I feel, to apologize, to court you, to um, to show love. And I see here the, the, the Queen of Discs. So they do see you, you know, you as someone... Um, they see your worth. They see your value. They see you as someone very grounded, very down to earth, very domestic, very caring, loving, kind, per, you know, maternal, nurturing. Like they see you as a, a healer. You know, you could be someone very healing. And this is like somebody that feels you matches that you match their fly. And that's why you're not settling access denied to anybody that does not come in. Um, speaking your love language. You're now making everybody and holding everybody accountable because you've already done your healing. You've taken onus for your part, but you also know to hold other people accountable for what they do or don't do. So with this self-discipline, you got your mind on your money, money on your mind. You're focused on your stability, especially after that tower moment. After things were destroyed all around you, you now focus on you know, getting your, your coins back together, getting your stability, your independence, because you could have been in a, a codependent relationship. So why is our self-discipline, um, the seventh chakra, Uriel, garden in the gate and walking away, access denied here for Scorpio. And we got so gone. Yeah, you so gone. You gone. You left. Scorpio has left the building. It's done, done, fit. Now you're going out for what you want. You're going after what you desire. Look at that. Page of swords. Somebody studying, watching, clocking, scheming, scamming, and you're walking away. And this is the four of cups. Somebody feeling like they missed an opportunity now up in their head. So all of the mind fuckery they was causing you now, they are mentally conflicted. This could be somebody who's also like, you know, could be doing some sort, you know, maybe they hide in something. Because I see this, this person, it's like there's a baby in the womb. So maybe somebody's been lying. Maybe you're going to find out about somebody having a child on the way, having somebody pregnant. But with this needle and this thread, I do feel like this is somebody that definitely it's like they're reaping what they sowed. You know, somebody's getting good, getting uh, karma for the way that they've behaved. I feel like you trusted your intuition when it came to something. You know, somebody wants to speak to you also. I feel like somebody is up in their head about what they've done. 
you know, it's almost like they're, they're, they're falling, you know, um, into that hole they was trying to dig for them, for, for you. What was in the dark is coming to light. I feel like also, you know, this is somebody just kind of studying, you know, kind of studying you. This is, oof, and be mindful, self-discipline. We got the lovers here. So maybe this is somebody that definitely has love for you. You know, somebody studying, trying to figure out how to come back because you've walked away. Somebody is preparing to come in. Maybe this is somebody, you know, like literally because she's penning this letter. You know, maybe this is somebody you've manifested, as I said. And you know they're coming in. You know something's coming because you got the lovers here. And so with the lovers, we're about to clarify timeout strategy, watching me, not with the shits and empaths. So this person is like being sent by the divine themselves. The divine is aligning you with someone that's, you know, especially meant for you. Somebody that you could have manifested. Maybe you've been manifesting this. Maybe you've been writing in your journals, you know. With this lovers, you know. I definitely feel like somebody sitting at home thinking about your ass because the, we got total playing sitting home. Yeah, somebody's definitely sitting home because this is the same energy strategy. And then I see this here and it's like somebody's literally trying to plan it, you know, especially with that nine of pentacles that showed up. I do feel somebody's like trying to figure out like a, a good way to come in. And this is like somebody new. This ain't no crazy ex. You do got the crazy ex trying to scheme, scam, plot, plan, but they like to the left, to the left. Like you ain't got time for that bullshit. But there is somebody new that's coming in that is like, you know, you're, you're, e you're equally yoked with that person. So why is um, time out strategy watching me empath? I'm only taking what's upright because we don't got time for 45 billion cards. And I just saw the ace of discs. Look at that. This person coming in for the right reasons. They're coming in for the right reasons. We've got the Queen of Swords. See that? That's that same energy and not with the shits. Off with your head, Wu-Tang style. That's why they're a little apprehensive. And we got the Three of Swords. So they know you've been heartbroken. And that's why you're on defense. But then we have temperance. Good things take time to create. That's why this time out is here. Because it's like you've had to take some time out to heal from this. And when you healed from that heartbreak, you transformed into the Queen of Swords. Whether masculine or feminine. And so that's why this person is a little you know, apprehensive and standoffish and they're just watching, you know, they're watching so that they can figure out how to come in, how, what strategy to use because you're still on defense. This queen of swords is not to be played with, you know? So it's like this person knows that you are definitely on defense. You're on high alert, you know, because of what you felt, but they also um, can feel your pain. They understand why you're that way. And that's what the divine is saying, like temperance. You're also going to know, you know, at whether somebody's coming in with good intentions, especially with this ace of uh, pentacles. You may have somebody that's literally trying to deceive you so that they could get money. Maybe it's somebody that feels entitled, as I said, brat, page of discs, king of wands. So somebody that had a wandering eye, somebody that was out there just, you know, on some young shit. Because the page of discs, you know, this is somebody that is literally trying to convince you that they want you know, they want to invest, but they, they come in as a page, even though they feel that you are this empress, this goddess. So this is somebody still immature, still calculating, trying to convince you they want to make an offer. Let's get another message because they all jumped out. See this seven of swords. That's the same energy. That's why I knew that wasn't your message, because that seven of swords, the deceit. This is that same person plotting, scheming, watching, scamming, tricknology. This is somebody very proud, very egotistical. Why is this pride card thing? Damn. Do you see that? The pride card came. I mean, the seven of swords came right back out as I was saying, why this is the pride card. And this, I was about to say the deceit. I didn't even get it out. This came right back out like, nah, this is your message. This is your message. This person definitely is feeling your absence. The five of cups here, they feel shame and regret and remorse, but they refuse to say it. Like I said, this is the type of ignoramus. That's going to take shit to the grave. So y'all better not be sitting home waiting for somebody to come in and apologize because they're never going to do it. They ain't built like that. That takes a special type of person. That takes somebody that is real. That takes somebody that is, you know, that has pure intentions. When somebody is scheming and still deceitful, even after all the fucked up things they did, you better keep it pushing, beloved. Because this person coming back to mind fuck you. They coming back to have you stuck right back in this place. Indecisive, you know. And restricted. So, five of cups here, 
singing they coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Let's get one more message. Let's get one more message. Okay. Let me finish the shuffle. Okay, those two cards came out. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Wands. And then we have on the floor that flew out two cards. So we have the uh, seven, seven of Discs. And we have the Ace of Discs. So this is absolutely somebody that did not invest, but they see that you have been building on your own and you're getting some sort of blessing from the divine. And that's the only reason why this person is trying to scheme, scam, plot and plan on how to get back into your good graces. That's why they want to come back in because they see that you're having some level of success. Your hard work is paying off. You had to work your ass off to get to a place of stability because they already caused tower moments in your life. And so you done rebuilt and now this person is sitting here feeling entitled. Because they didn't see your worth and value, which is why they was out there with that wandering eye with the king of wands. And they still sitting there watching your life, stalking your life, stalking you online. And they watching you build some level of success and stability for yourself. And they want a piece of the fucking pie. This ace of pentacles showed up when I was shuffling and then it came back out, just shot out. And this is the work you've put out there. So now they want to convince you this is all trick knowledge, you mind you, because this person is talking out of both sides of their neck, talking because they got lips. Remember, we had talking, um, gossiping ass fools or whatever. And this is that same person because now they want to convince you they want with this eight of pentacles that would say, you know, because the seven and the eight ace is like the eight of pentacles. So it's like they want to try to convince you that they want to work together. They want to work. You know, they just want stability. They just want security. They just want to get into your good graces. Be mindful because they still on their demon time. They still a child, still childish, haven't matured, haven't grown up. And they still got a bunch of secrets that they didn't, didn't atone for and account for. So keep it pushing, Scorpios, because you got real love, true love, new love on the way. But you got to be receptive because the divine is sending somebody very specific to you. Because this person, you're going to know that this is your person because there's going to be a likeness. There's going to be a chemistry, a strat, you know, a, a synergy between you and that person. So you'll know, you'll be able to identify the real from the fake. You ain't stupid because you on, you know, you, you, you very psychic, you're very intuitive. All right. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Um, if you found that the messages resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If this is your first time here, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloveds, love is love is love. And on the uh, end, the song we got is um, we got 112 featuring Zane. We could do it anywhere. All right. So somebody coming in and it's going to be it's going to be spicy. It's going to be hot and heavy, baby. But um, I love you all. Thank you for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I'll share. Peace.